Uh, greetings and welcome to our weekly educational round at Seclair, an integrative holistic psychiatric facility located outside of Delmont, Pennsylvania. We specialize and are prideful in the fact that we treat people, not necessarily diagnoses. My name is Jim Ellermeyer. I'm a behavioral health therapist, and today I'm joined by two of my colleagues. On my left would be... My name is Leah. I'm a physician assistant student from Seton Hill University. And on my right? I'm Chloe Tillman. I'm a PA student from St. Francis University. And as always, every week what we try to do is incorporate something to inject into your lives. We're kind of like a kitchen, getting all type of ingredients, and see what type of cake we have to bake today. So how to, today the method of our madness is magic math. Magic math. So what if somebody came to you and said, What's magic math, uh, Chloe? What would you say? Addition by subtraction. Addition by subtraction. And what does addition by subtraction mean to you, Leah? It means putting something better into your life and taking something out that's not as helpful. You bet. So in relatable terms, when we're talking about people who are trying to lose weight, they're generally trying to look better, are they not? So when, 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 when people go on a diet, what do they do? What do they what do they reduce? They subtract calories. They subtract calories, that's right, that's right. So we're talking a little bit about addition by subtraction, are we not? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what what the, what so what we're so this may be kind of a strange way to begin our uh, podcast about magic math. However, as usual, there's a method to our madness. And what we're really doing today is we're talking about desire versus needs. So when we go back to the weight loss scenario and when we talk about people joining a gymnasium but of course to join in a gymnasium what do you have to have Chloe? Proper attire. You have to have the proper attire right and you have to have more than one outfit do you not? Absolutely if you're oh, going right. to go more than once. If you're going to go more than <laughs> once certainly what would those people think? <laughs> so to carry all these nice things in there what do you, what do you need to come with you? You need a nice new gym bag You need a well. gym bag, of course. So you, what we're trying to do is lose weight. But however, what we're doing is we're picking up another whole bunch of stuff, right? Okay. So what we're talking about, is it the thing or is it the desire? Is it, is it losing weight or what is your desire? So that's what we have to differentiate. So let's talk about technology, Leah. Uh, all the bells and whistles that phones have. How often do new phones come out? Seems like all the time. All the time. So right, and what what are they? What are we being deluged with? It. What we, do we need? We always think we need the latest and greatest. We always need the latest and greatest. We always need to add more stuff, right? Mm -hmm. We're always talking about. We're always being convinced that if we don't have this, we're less than, right? Okay. So the idea is, and again, I'm going to say this: Have you seen any U-Hauls behind hearses on the way to the cemetery? No. No. No, of course not. You can't. You get all that. All that baggage that we accumulate in our life. And one of the things we're going to talk. I know for the viewers of this podcast before. I know this is something we've done before. However, it, it goes out perfectly here. So again, we're going to talk about how monkeys are caught. So, Miss Chloe, do you know how monkeys are caught? Um, I do. I do know. Could you Could you share it with us? Absolutely. So, um, the monkey. Well, whoever's trying to catch the monkey puts something that the monkey desires into um, like a box with a hole just small enough for the monkey's like hand. So then when the monkey grabs whatever is inside, um, he can't fit his whole fist out. Sure. So some that's that's some of the things in our life. So you want to open up your uh, your jars here. This, this is your lives, okay? So let's let's look at some of the things that people hold on to in their lives. What are, what are some things that people hold on to? Fear. Fear? Right, okay. So if we're having fear, we're putting that in our life too. If not, what are also some of the things that people hold on to? Materials. Material material things, right? You bet. What else? What else? What else? Uh, regret. Regret. People hold on to regrets, absolutely. Leo? Anything else? Um Depression or anxiety. Depression, they hold into anxiety? Sure, sure. How about toxic relationships? Do we hold on to those? Absolutely. Okay. So now, get your hands in there now. Before you could pull them out freely, couldn't you? Mm -hmm. Okay. So grab on, grab on to all those things. Grab on to those things. Put your hand. Now try to pull your hand out. Okay. So the idea here is what I'm challenging everyone out there today is to identify and label the things in your life that are holding you back and preventing you from being free. That are preventing you from being free. 
Okay, identify and label them and begin to drop them. That is addition by subtraction. When you're subtracting these toxic things from your life, then you'll be able to, you'll be able to pull yourself out from that trap. You'll be able to be lighter and live a free life. So quite often people are looking for the fanciest home they can buy, can they not? Absolutely. So then who owns the who owns the house? Does you own the house or does the house own you? The house owns you. When you when you buy this this fancy car that you think that you have to have and you get those payments every month, does the car do you own the car or does the car own you? So media and society has brainwashed into thinking that who has the most stuff wins. So my challenge out there for everyone today is to say that you don't have to be, there's no prize for being the richest person in the cemetery. There's no, there's no prize for being that, not being the richest person in the cemetery. And remember our quote by our, one of our favorite philosophers, Thomas Merton, that says our minds are like crows picking up every shiny object and then sitting in our crowded nest wonder why we're so uncomfortable. Okay, so addition by subtraction. There's a story with the Buddha who's out in the forest instructing his, uh, his, his disciples, okay, giving them some lessons. And this person came up, Chloe, and said they were in distress and distraught and they were yelling, have you seen my cows? My cows got away. Have you seen them? And the Buddha said, well, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I haven't seen your cows. And the guy was crying, yelling, running off. And then the Buddha turned to his disciples and said, aren't you glad you don't have cows? So remember, which is which of the thing, which of the things that are that is holding you back? My challenge out there for everyone today is to answer this question. Think of yourself, if everything was stripped away from you, your health, your wealth, your your house, your education, who would be standing with you at the end? Who would be standing with you? Identify and label them. I just don't want you to say my family. I want you to name every single person and tell me about them and tell them why they would be standing with you at the end and what do they mean in your life. Then my challenge for you is to go home, hold that person's hand and look them in the eye and speak from your heart and tell them, I know you would be standing with me at the end. Though that's that those those are the people that are important in your life. Those are the things to add to reinforce. Identify them. That's my challenge out there for everyone, everyone today, is to identify the things addition by subtraction. What can you release from your life? Look around your house, see how much stuff you have. Do you have a lot of stuff, Leo? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Much stuff, right? Too much stuff. You bet. How about you? Sure. So my my question, and when you move, don't you? Then you, then you realize then how much stuff. All of that stuff. You realize how much stuff you have. <laughs> all those things that you looked at. Do you look at half the stuff you own? No. Rarely. Definitely. Right. Right. So the idea is, do you need it? You need it bogged down, or do you, do you ever travel light? So many, perhaps many people don't know what that. When 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 you say the word stoic, what does stoic mean to you, Chloe? Um. Frozen, frozen, and unwavering, kind of strong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of well, not emotional. <laughs> stoic person who just doesn't feel any emotion. They're they're just tough and they're cold blooded. Okay, mm -hmm. kind of stoic. They don't react to the things around them. Well, actually, stoicism was a was a, a Greek philosophy, and what it was is, is toward minimalism. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the, the Diogenes, the uh, the Greek philosopher, who was the guy that went looking for the honest man, is the story. Okay, he was he was one of them. And so he, he thought that he had stripped his life down to the bare minimum when all he had was a uh, all he had was a cup. Okay? Until he saw a child drink from his hands and he realized that he had too much stuff. So my challenge out there for everyone today is to identify the things. What's inside that jar? What are the rocks that are holding you back? What can you subtract in your life that you can that you can become freer? That you can become freer. Can you think of anything in your life, Leah? Um, probably just have too many clothes I need to get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> how about how about you? Some things in your life that are kind of maybe probably some books I've never looked at that you've been holding on to. <laughs> okay, so my my question out there, my challenge out there for everyone is to be a free, live a little freer, live a little lighter, have a little bit more placefulness in your life. So my challenge out there for everyone is to drop the rock today. And as always, at the end of every podcast, we give a free uh, prescription. Do we not? Yes. And that would be fruits, nuts, and vegetables, unplug your television, and take up fishing. And for a truly mindful experience, we ask people to fish, fish without, without bait. Absolutely. A lifetime <laughs> where you set definitive expectations on yourself. You're carrying around all those rocks. And as always, my admonishment to you is to do a kindness for yourself, do a kindness for another, and please forgive one some today. Namaste. Namaste.